In this lesson, I'll show you two basic examples on how to calculate work done by a gas during a pressure and volume change. Question one reads, two moles of an ideal gas maintained at 20 degrees Celsius expand until the pressure is one half of the original. How much work is done by the gas? In order to calculate this, we will need to use the second of the three formulas shown underneath, where to calculate the work during pressure change, you take the number of moles, represented as little n, times r being the gas constant, times the temperature, times ln of pressure one divided by pressure two. Before we start doing any calculations, remember that the most basic way to calculate work is by multiplying the force times the displacement. Understanding this basic relationship is important because it reminds us that the unit for work is in joules. And that's the final unit we're expecting in our answers here. So how do we work this formula? We have W is equal to N being the number of moles. In this case, it's two. Multiplied to R, which is the gas constant equal to 8.3145 joules per mole times Kelvin. And subsequently that gets multiplied to capital T, which is the temperature 20 degrees needs to be converted into Kelvin so that they cancel out with this Kelvin. So we had 273.15. That becomes 293.15, but we'll ignore the decimal 15 to take into account significant figures when adding. 293 Kelvin, that gets canceled out with that. Multiply to ln, and just for the sake of simplicity, I'll call pressure one as one. And pressure two is half of one, so I'll write it down as 0.5. 1 divided by 0 0.5, as in P1 divided by P2, makes 2. So I'll multiply this by ln 2. Notice that this unit also cancels out with that, leaving us with joules. So going to our calculator, we have 2 times 8.3 times 293 times ln 2 gives us 3,373 joules. And if we want this to the correct number of significant figures, it should be 3,370. In question two, they ask a gas at constant pressure of 4.0 times 10 to the power of five pascals is cooled so that its volume decreases from 1.6 meters cubed to 1.2 meters cubed. What work is performed by the gas? Remember that as temperature increases, volume increases. They're directly proportional to one another. And in this case, the volume is decreasing as a result of the gas being cooled. So it's going the opposite way. Whenever your pressure is constant, then use this formula, where the change in work is equal to the pressure, and that's constant at 4.0 times 10 to the power of five, multiplied to the change in volume. So I'll take 4.0 times 10 to the power of five, pascals, and that gets multiplied to the change in volume. It goes from 1.6 to 1.2. Final minus initial, negative 0 0.4 meters cubed. Remember, if you break down pascals, it's one Newton per meters squared. And if we multiply that now to meters cubed, right, the units here, these two will cancel out with two of these, leaving you with one Newton times meters, and that's equivalent to one joule. Remember, work is force times displacement, and that's exactly what happens when you do that calculation. Using our calculator now, I'll take this value, 4.0 times 10 to the power of five, and multiply that to negative 0 0.4. That gives us a value that is negative 1.6 times 10 to the power of five joules. Now, what does that even mean? What does this negative mean in this example? Why is it negative? Well, this negative indicates that the work was done on the system by an outside agent. And there you have it, two examples on how to calculate work done by a gas during pressure and volume change.